certain youth, commonly referred to as Gen Zs, who have been perceived as leaderless, have come out to assert their right to hold anti-government protests dubbed Nana Nana Plan for Thursday. Now, the youth say the protests will proceed nationwide as scheduled. Speaking to the media in Nairobi, they said that Nane Nane protests will be significant and the final attempt to remove the Kenya Kwanzaa government, which they accused of failing to address their demands, including government's refusal to fight corruption, poor leadership, and a lack of attention to the voices of servants of Kenyans. Now, warning that they have found a remedy to, to um, plain clothes forces who continue using excessive force on peaceful protesters. We get more from our very own Willie Lusige. <laughs> Gen Z youths across the country have organized anti-government protests on Thursday. <laughs> on Wednesday, they openly declared the August 8th protest would be the culmination and final demonstration against the Kenya Kwanzaa government and its policies. Nane Nane will be able to birth a new nation and it is going to be our final day in the street. Tomorrow as we march towards a new republic, yeah. Nane nane. Kabla ya sa nane na lakika nane. I want to assure you that the spirit of the Kenyan youth remains unbowed. Viva comrades viva. viva. Contrary to their previous stance of being leaderless and faceless, they gathered in public to explain the reason for their protest and their goal of removing the Kenya Kwanzaa administration led by President William Ruto. They said the major reason for this is the government's refusal to listen to Kenyans' demands, including fighting corruption, which they cite as the root cause of widespread poverty and concentration of wealth among an elite few. <laughs> They said they will protest due to unemployment, the continuation of oppressive governance by the Kenya Kwanzaa administration, the selling of public assets to investors, and the lack of basic services in the country. We have elucidated very plainly what our demands have been. That we want to live in a country that gives us land. Yeah. We want to live in a country where it gives us education. Yeah. We want to live in a country where children will not die from natal diseases. Yeah. They also threatened to take action against police officers who are not in uniform but are seen riding police vehicles, accusing them of using excessive force to oppress the protesters while the government remains silent. If we see an identified man in civilian clothing riding in government vehicles that have obfuscated policies, we shall treat them as robbers. A section of Nairobi leaders have asked the youth to shelve their protest and give the president time to respond to their demands. Kupe nafasi, rais, sasa aweze kupumua, ili aweze kufanya kazi. As youths across the country vow to continue with their peaceful protest scheduled for the 8th of August and also known as Nane Nane, the police are saying they will not use excessive force on peaceful protesters except those ones who will violate the rule of law. Willie Lusiga, Citizen TV.